Right, guys, bit of a short one today, but I thought I'd bring you up to scratch. Uh, we're in the garage, as you can tell. Um, oh, there's one of the heat shields, the wheels, the liners, um, some other heat shields there. But there is a heat shield we've got to replace. I'll show you that out when we go out and show you the crap or the scrap, I should say. So what we've been doing today is been stripping the subframes down and the petrol tank as you can see here petrol tank is stripped down gonna clean all that up make it look like new um, I showed you that before but that's quite bad that you know they weren't doing anything so that's we got to replace but as i said we got one of them so here's some more fuel lines here we need cleaning up and doing there's the filter which we'll replace this bracket will have sandblasted and painted um there's two subframes to be sent to be sandblasted there's two hubs down there off the blue car um, there's all the nuts and bolts that we've got to replace or clean and make good. Uh, back here is this lot here has got to be go and be sandblasted and we have the bushes, um, bearings and that pushed out and be sandblasted. So that's that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now out here. is that's the heat shield which is no good as you can see the anti-roll bar we just put it out here because we had to heat it up to get the bolts out they were really 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 tight but so we stuck it out here but that's going to be sandblasted obviously new bushes here's the fuel filler pipe which we're going to rub down and paint and uh, um yeah that's that's about it really this over here you can see the old exhaust there the exhaust there which we've dismantled and down underneath that old engine is the rear boxes so ready it'll be cleaned and go back on this i found in a road <laughs> and uh i thought i I tell you something it was one of the best things I've done because it really helps with tight bolts on a bar. You got that extra leverage. Well, I used to use my jack handle, but now this has taken over. So yeah, that was a good find that was. So that's that. So yeah. So really guys, that's you up to scratch. Um, I hope you're enjoying these vids. Oh, there's the old calipers there off of it. But as I said in the previous vid, we're going to replace them with final facelift ones because the handbrake seems to operate better for some reason. Must be a different design the way they sit because someone did ask me why am I using final facelift? What's the difference? But it's the way the handbrake go attaches to the actual caliper. They don't seize up. And on these, they do. So... Yeah, so that's what I'm intending to do. Replace those final facelift ones on the rear. And we'll put 225s on the front. So now, once we've got all this done, down, sent out to be well, bushes pushed out and down to the sandblasters, where there's nothing we can do on this, obviously. So now everything goes to the car because we've got the handbrake cables off and that heat shield what i showed you that was the one we had to remove to access the handbrake cables so now the car out the front is ready to start being cleaned up underneath taking any loose under seal off replacing that and then getting it prepared to paint obviously got to get the welding done as well so yeah, so that's it today, guys. I'm sorry for a short one.
but um, I will keep you updated as much as possible. So um, enjoy this lovely weather and thumbs up if you like, thumbs down if you don't, but take care and look after yourselves. Right, guys, just a quick one again. Uh, I thought we'd give you this on the back of the other video. Uh, as I said to you, the underneath was on the blue one was completely stripped out. What I do, I've got going to get my son to go under there because he's I've changed, but he hasn't to go under there and actually show you what what it looks like under there now. So have a guided tour of the underneath of the blue one. As you can see where the welding needs to be done. But other than that, she's all right. But as you can see, the fuel tank is all removed. It, and that, but she looks all right under there. You know? But what we're going to do, we're going to clean it off under there. And remove the undersill where it's all flaky. And clean it all. And then repaint her all under there. And then, um, obviously, start putting her back. Um, Going to have a look at the brake pipes, because I think they need to be changed. But I don't want to take them off yet until we get the new um, pipe. We've ordered it, just waiting for it to come with the fixings. So, yeah. But she's all right under there, guys. She surprised me for a 2002 car. Um, I've seen like 54 plates and that really rusty. Even on the passenger side, she's good, as you can see. She's really good under there. So, uh, yeah, we're getting there. And um, once all the back's done, then it's going to be the front. No, it's never ending. So, yeah, there you go, guys. So, that's the tour of the underneath of the Blue Saloon. Thanks for watching. Keep safe. And, uh, um, oh, one more thing. I'm going to go back to the original lights. So, once it's all done... I'm going to change them lights and go back to the originals. Because um, I think they might look a bit better, I'll be honest with you. But it's a 2002 car. So I've took the chrome off the doors. So I'll do this. And on the chrome, on the front bu bumper, I'll take the chrome off of the bottom valance. It's only stuck on it. So yeah, so I'll pr like, put it back to standard-ish. So yeah. So that's it guys, so all that's left now under there is to clean it all, clean it all up and that and get it prepared for the welding and for the new paint, which is going to take a little while, but um, we'll get there. So thanks guys for watching, as I said, thumbs up if you like, um, thumbs down if you don't, and I'll catch you on the next one.